up, YouTube? Robert the Corn Drap here, and I'm back again with another episode of Rob's Random Roms. This is where I set Google's random number generator to, uh, to 740, which is the number of Super Nintendo ROMs that I own, and whatever number comes up, that's the game I'm playing. Today we have another sports game. Seems to be kind of a theme for me on this channel. Not a fan of it, but hey, we don't argue with the RNG. It just happens. Um, today's game is actually uh, Pro Sport Hockey. Now, this game was developed by uh, TOS, T-O-S-E, and published by Jalco for the Super Nintendo and the, the, uh, the NES. The Super Nintendo saw its version come to North America in 1994. Now, again, as I stated before, yours truly ain't the best at the sports games, but we're going to go on ahead and get into the gameplay and see what we can get out of this. See if we can maybe get into a fight. Oh, this one was officially licensed by the National uh, Hockey League's Players Association, so... Does that mean it's licensed by the NHL? Let's have a practice game. Let's do an exhibition. One player versus computer. Um... I don't see... Boston, Buffalo, Hartford, Ottawa, New Jersey, New York, Quebec, Chicago, um... Edmonton. Oh, they have San Jose, but they don't have the Dallas Stars. I'm pretty sure that the Dallas Stars were around in the 90s. Play as the Blackhawks. Oh, Ottawa is terrible? Let's make Ottawa, make the computer Ottawa. Because I'm not, I'm not very good at, uh... I don't know. I know nothing about this. Just, just, let's go. Hang on, I gotta see if there's... Trying to shoot it into the goal there. Give me some icing. Oh, he fell over. Trying to send it up the boards here. Oh, the, the goalie got it. Oh, no hooking? What the hell? I don't know why I'm kind of lagging-ish. Oh, I got tripped.
I wasn't trying to shoot there. I was just trying to get it to to my next guy, which apparently the buttons I thought I was pushing. Oh, apparently I got a hooking foul finally. 30 second power play. I know that. I know that. Oh, they got it. If I if I'm on a penalty kill and I actually get there, I'd be fucking surprised. Oh, where's my hooking foul? I was actually fucking skating and he and he hooked me in the leg. What the shit? He got hit in the face. I'm not even running this on the highest quality I can, and it's not doing well. My guy come back. I don't get it. What happened here? Like, why didn't he catch the puck? What the hell? What the fuck does that even mean, offsides? This ain't football. <laughs> oh, I know, I know. I'm, I have to say that. I wanted to, I've always wanted to kind of make that joke, but never could. Because while I don't really understand hockey all that well, I do understand that there are rules that I don't get. Thank you. I just want to put it in the net. Pick up. Now, I've, because I've seen where, like, they can, they go around the net and they get it in. They just tap it in. Oh, come on, I was in the middle of my shot. Check his ass into the boards. Damn it. Can't hit that upper left side, you know? What? Again? I don't care. Kick their ass. Run it up the boards. Dodging every motherfucker in here. I was hoping to get the puck. But I'm out of luck. Okay, you know what? 
I think I've done enough with that. Sports games are uh, sports video games are never my forte anyway, and I've proven many times on this show that I am terrible at those. But in this case, I tried to pick the worst team so at least I'd score because I realize I suck. And if they're going to give me a great team like the Chicago Blackhawks, apparently in this game, I don't think that I can do much much worse. So, oh well. I want to thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, share all those wonderful things down below. Hit the bell for the notifications. Follow the show on Twitter at Rob's Random Roms. Go in and check out these guys. This episode of Rob's Random Roms is brought to you by Rogue's Apparel. Original, custom, hand-printed t-shirts of the highest quality. Shop Rogue's Apparel on Twitter or on Facebook. Rogue's Apparel. Again, wonderful people who I highly respect, highly enjoy spending my time, money, and energy uh, shouting them out and giving them the attention that they deserve, uh, because on several occasions, I have been given shirts by these guys. They're, they're just great people, um, and I really want to keep giving them my money. <laughs> so, there you go. There you have it. Um Speaking of people I don't mind uh, shouting out and giving my time uh, time and energy to, Will from Peace, Love, and Guns and Peace, Love, and Games, uh, check out his more recent videos, the thought piece that he did on the New Zealand tragedy uh, and how we as people who may be gun enthusiasts or, or, or fire, responsible firearm owners should respond to that, I, I felt was a, a very good thought piece. Um, speaking of things that will provoke, provoke some, uh, some thought and discussion, Jake Husden does some really good WWE content creation. Uh, he gives out his thoughts and predictions on uh, various WWE pay-per-views, so I always like to recommend that you check him out. Also, go ahead and check out my good friend Chris Peeps. A, I am a proud member of the Peeps Nation. I would hope to be on his uh, WrestleMania preview prediction show here coming up in a few weeks. Um, again, with the work schedule that I've got coming up here in the next couple months and, and for the foreseeable future, it may be a little difficult, but I'm going to do my best to keep, the, uh, keep this channel running at maybe even a better efficiency than I have in the past. Uh, and keep being on uh, his show uh, whenever I can. Uh, speaking of, of being on the show whenever I can, um, my good friend uh, Sierra and I are trying to get back together. The Monsters in the Mosh Pit. We're going to be uh, doing, we're going to be shuffling up the, uh, the, uh, the schedule a little bit. And we're going to be trying to, to shift it from doing it the day after in the evening to doing it the morning after. So we'll see how that all goes. We're, we're still working on the schedule, but we do hope to come back and give you guys our thoughts and opinions on the current WWE product. So go on ahead and check us out over there, and I will see you all. Next time. <laughs>